In this video, we are going to look at an example of break-even analysis. In chapter one, we read about the term business analytics, which means that we use large amounts of data with management science techniques and mathematical modeling to help managers make decisions. One type of business analytics problem is called break-even analysis. It's a modeling technique that will determine the number of units to sell or to produce that will result in zero profit. And so it's the minimum that we need to make. Anything that we make beyond that will give us a profit. In this model, we have two different kinds of costs, fixed costs that are independent of the number of items that we sell or make. So for example, if I take out a bank loan for a building, I have to pay the bank a fixed amount for my mortgage every month, whether or not I sell or produce anything. That's a fixed cost. In a model, this is called a parameter. It's a known value, it's a constant value, it doesn't change. The other kind of cost is the variable cost. This depends on the number of items produced. And in the model, this is modeled as a variable, which can take on many different values. So how would we set up a model for total cost? Well, the total cost is going to be some combination of the fixed cost and the variable cost, and the model looks like this. So the total cost is equal to the fixed costs plus the variable cost times the volume, the number of units that are sold or produced. And that is our model, that's our formula. If we want to compute revenue, that's the money coming in, that's going to be the volume of things sold times the price per unit. So our formula is just V times P. Our total profit, which we're gonna label as capital letter Z, is the total revenue minus the total cost. And that is what you see in this formula. So to find the break even point, we want to take our total profit and set that equal to zero. And so when I do that, and use a little bit of algebra to get rid of some parentheses, and then I wanna solve for the volume, right? How many things do I need to sell or produce to get to that point? I can use some algebra and I come up with this formula. The volume is equal to the fixed cost divided by the price minus the variable costs. So let's look at an example from the book. We're going to look at problem number 18, part A from chapter one. This is on page 23 in the textbook. And I'm gonna pause here a little bit so you can read the problem. You might need to pause the video if you need more time to read. So the question in part A says, determine how many pizzas would have to be sold to break even. So they're asking for the volume, right? That's the number of pizzas sold. So we're gonna use our formula from before and we need to look for fixed costs for the price and for variable costs. So the problem tells us that the manager needs to buy an oven and a freezer and that's gonna cost $27,000. That's the fixed cost of opening up a pizza business in this store. The price per pizza, she's decided, would be $8.95 a piece, minus the cost of those pizzas, which is $3.75 a piece. So those are the numbers we need for this formula. 
When I put this in the calculator, we need to remember that there are implied parentheses around the numerator and the denominator when we write fractions like this. So the first thing we want to do is take $8.95 minus 375. We're going to take that value and divide it into 27,000, and we get 5,192.3 pizzas. In part B, it asks, if the general store sells 20 pizzas per day, how many days would it take to break even? Notice here we did not round off that number of pizzas. We don't want to round any number that we have until the end of the problem. So even though it seems a little weird, maybe, to talk about 5,192.3 pizzas, that is the exact break-even point. So we want to take that and divide it by 20. For 20 pizzas a day, we get 259.6 days until she can break even. Now, in part C, there's a little bit of a change here. It says the manager of the store anticipates that once the local pizza delivery services start losing business, they will cut their prices. We're going to suppose that after a month, after 30 days, the manager has to lower the prices of a pizza to $7.95 to keep the demand at 20 pizzas per day which is what she expects. What will the new break-even point be? And how long will it take the store to break even? The first thing we want to compute is the profit for the first 30 days. And we want to compute this without regard to the fixed cost so that we can see how much of the oven and the freezer we've already paid for after 30 days. So our profit is going to be the price times the volume, minus the volume times the variable costs. That's how much profit we're making a day. And then for the first 30 days, we're going to multiply that by 30. So that's where that formula comes from. And when we compute this, we get $3,120 of profit for the first 30 days. So if we subtract this from the $27,000 of the fixed cost, our new fixed cost is going to be $23,880. That's the portion of the fixed cost that we still have to pay after those first 30 days. So for a new volume to break even, we have that new fixed cost of $23,880 divided by the newer price of $7.95 minus the cost of each pizza, which is still $3.75. So now our new break-even point, our new volume to break even, is 5,685.7 pizzas. However, that 5,685.7 that we calculated does not include the pizzas that we sold the first 30 days. And so in the first 30 days, we sold 20 pizzas a day. 20 times 30 is 600. So altogether, we have 6,285.7 pizzas. That's our break-even point. The total time to break even. We're going to do what we did before, right? We have that break-even volume. We divide by 20. But again, that was after those first 30 days. So we're going to add 30 days to that, and it turns out we get 314.3 days to break even. It's possible to do this on your calculator, but it's also possible to do this in Excel. So here's an Excel worksheet that I've created to do the work that we need for this problem. And I'll go through it step by step. So in cell D4, I put the $27,000 for the fixed cost, the variable cost, $3.75 per pizza. The price they're going to sell the pizzas is $8.95. That's all there in cells D4, D5, D6. So to compute the break-even point for part A in cell D8, the formula looks like this. D4 divided by, in parentheses, D6 minus D5. For part B, the number of days to break even, I take my answer from part A and divide by 20. So the formula looks like this. 
Now for part C, again, we want to figure out how much revenue they can make in the first 30 days. So there's our formula. We have a new value for the fixed cost, cell D4 minus what we computed for cell D12. And then a new break-even point, cell D13, that new fixed cost, minus the new price per pizza, $7.95, minus D5, the cost per pizza. The total break-even point is the number of pizzas I needed to sell to pay off the new fixed cost, plus the pizzas that I sold in those first 30 days. So the formula looks like that. And then time to break even, my formula is 30, those first 30 days, plus D14 divided by 20. Let's look at the first part of another problem. This is number 20. We're going to look at part A. Again, I'll give you a little bit of time to read the problem. So the question in part A says, what price should she charge for a hot dog in order to break even? So let's look at where these numbers came from. It says she needs to pay $3,000 in vendor's fees and $4,500 in equipment rental. So that's our fixed cost, $7,500. She estimates each hot dog will cost her 35 cents. So that's our variable cost. Price is what we don't know. That's what we want to solve for. So we need an idea of what kind of volume she can expect. So she talked to some friends. She talked to the athletic department. She thinks she can sell 2,000 hot dogs during each game. And there are seven games, seven home games in the season. So she thinks she can do a volume of 14,000 hot dogs. So this is our equation, and we're going to solve for p. So I can multiply both sides of the equation by p minus 35 cents, right, in parentheses. I can divide both sides of the equation by 14,000 and then solve this for p. It turns out that if she sells these for 89 cents, she'll break even. Now, she doesn't really want to break even, right? She wants to make some profit on this, but that's the minimum price that she should charge for these hot dogs so that she can break even. So here are a couple examples of break even analysis, and we will talk more about this in class. Have a great day.